Hi, today I am showing you how to create a mock-up for your digital planner and I have one right here to show off your products on Etsy or your own website. Um, so if you have a digital planner that you want to sell but you don't have mock-ups to promote your product or if you just don't know how to design it, so this is the video for you. We will be creating the mock-ups in Canva because it is super easy and also because I will leave a link down below to this mock-up that I just created in this video. So you can grab it as well and you can just use it in your shop. So let's get started. Um, well, the first thing that I'm going to do is, as you can notice, I already have my digital planner ready. Um, it is ready to sell. So all I need to do at this point really is create the mockups for my listing on Etsy. So make sure you have that ready before you start. And the first thing I'm going to do is create um, a file, a document here in Canva. So I'm going to create, to click on create design, custom size, and I want 2000 by 2000, create new design. I'm going to name it over here and I'm going to put here master Etsy listing digital planner mockup. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and go back here and I'm going to grab screenshots from this. Another thing you can do is download these two. I'm going to use only this one and this one. So another thing you can do is export these two slides. I'm on PowerPoint by the way, as a PNG. But to make it easier for me, I'm just going to take a screenshot on my computer, so. I'm just going to grab this right here. Okay, and I'm on a Mac. There we go. That's screenshot number one. Now I need screenshot number two because these are the two pages I want to include in that mockup. And this will all make sense in a little bit. So I took, there I have two screenshots now. So I'm going to open Canva, I'm going to my uploads, upload media, device. You can drag them as well. No, actually they're here. You can drag them as well. So this one and this one open and they will be here for when I need them. But the first thing I need to do, I'm so I'm going to grab an element. I'm just gonna grab a square and make it the same size be a little bit bigger than this background now I'm going to decide what color I want probably want this color and make it a lot lighter that's looking good and I want to lock it because I don't want to move it I just want to leave it like that and I'm going to need I'm going to elements let me put iPad and see what pops up no Go back to elements, frames, and let me grab this iPad right here. There we go. This one, I'm going to duplicate it, put it here, but like this. Oh no, let me delete this one and then just duplicate this one. I want them big enough so I can kind of show off my design position forward because I want this one on top of this back one right here. Now, let me go back to my uploads. I'm going to put the calendar here. Oh, I need to turn them. I always forget that. I need to rotate them 90 degrees. Put them here, there we go. Now this one, are we going to rotate 90 degrees, put them here. Awesome. I think 
I'm going to make the front one a little bit bigger and you'll see why. Okay, that's great. So now all we need to do is get text. Let me put it over here. And this would be my title. I want to change the font to just open sans. And I want to put something like, I don't know, hyper linked digital planner because what I'm trying to do is let people know, Hey, this digital planner, first of all, that it is a digital planner and also that it is hyperlinked for you. So that's important. Okay. Make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And you can change this, you know, to whatever it is that you're trying to do something that I like, let me go to folders. I have, where is it here? I have like an Apple pen situation here. Uh Oh, uh Oh, okay. Let me lock these two because, okay. So I have like an Apple pencil that I'm trying to position. I'm going to have to make it a little bit smaller so it looks normal sized against the iPad. Um, I'm going to place it here for now. Actually, I might end up changing this. And I got this one, I think it was from Creative Market. I only use it for mock-ups just to, um, to add a little bit of something. So people know for sure, Hey, this is a digital planner. I'm going to lock it because I'm going to be adding a few more things. So right now what I want to do is to tell people that when they click on here, like if you notice, I mean, we get a lot closer. If you notice a number four here, I started dating these pages. So let's say that when they click on this link, the number four, it will take them to this page right here inside the planner. This is something that I want them to understand. So I'm going to need something like an arrow. Um, like a circle, maybe an arrow with like a pointy circle. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making sense or if it's even available. If not, that's totally fine. Um, and all I need to do really, yeah, I'm not going to waste time looking for that. So I'm going to grab an element, uh, shapes. I need this circle right here and I want to make it a darker color. There you go. And you can make it any color you want, of course. So I'm going to put it right there. And now I'm going to grab an arrow, like a clean looking arrow. That's a little bit curved. Let me see. Could be this one. I mean, if you have time and you want to play around with this, you can totally um, get an arrow that looks a little bit better. So basically what I'm trying to do here is something like this. I don't like it. Like it, it does what I want it to do. I just don't like the design. That's a problem I'm having with it. So I might just want to find a different arrow, maybe a thinner one. It could even be this one. Let me change the color. It's all a matter of preference and what you like. Let me delete this one. Why can't I delete it? There we go. Let me rotate this and see. Okay. This is looking better and I'm just trying to connect them. Maybe if I make this a little bit closer, I'm just trying to connect the arrow to the circle. Okay. Now let's go back see what that looks like. Okay. It's not so bad. And it allows me to visually show 
the customer that, you know, when you click here, it takes you here and like that type of example. It just occurred to me that maybe this arrow is not the problem. I'm gonna grab this one too. Let me see, did I just add it? Okay, I'm gonna grab this one, put it to the side, but something I could do instead of using that, let me go back to elements, shapes. I'll grab this square, change the color. Okay, make it a little bit smaller. And then I can actually put all of these numbers inside the square and get the arrow, put it here. Can probably rotate it a little bit. And put it here. Okay, let me a little bit higher back to fit. Okay, 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 that's looking better. Actually, I might not need this one after all. That's looking better. So this allows me to make that visual connection um, that this is a hyperlink. I could even do something like this. Let me duplicate this one, rotate it. I don't have to make it bigger though. If I make it bigger, it's going to be thicker and I don't want that. Cause I was thinking about, maybe I don't have to. Rotate, how do I rotate this one? There it is. I don't like when sometimes it hides um, okay, I can put it like this. I can actually move this. Okay, that's better. And let me change this. Then have that arrow point at where it says hyperlinked. Let me move it up a little bit. Okay. Hyperlinked. And then you have one arrow pointing to the word hyperlinked and one arrow pointing to a page. And let me grab this. Let me duplicate it. Put here digital. Planner, I'm going to change this font to my brand font. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And just like this, and I might center this or I might put something here, whether it is my logo or here on the side, I could put some type of clip art decoration, you know something like that and you could add any more of these as needed like if you wanted to do something similar with these um tabs on the side let me go ahead and duplicate this i duplicated it so now i have this one and i'm working with the second one so i'm going to move things around a little bit i'm going to move this right here and awesome and okay so it would be j actually i could put it here because this january went to january so i'm gonna have to make it a little bit bigger or make this closer. So let me unlock, move this a little bit to the left. And the only reason I'm moving this instead of making this arrow 
um, bigger is because I don't want it to be thicker. That's really the only reason. And I might just have to do that. Okay. So it says, you know, the tabs will take me here as well because you can see the tabs here. So let me grab this. I'm duplicating it and I'm putting it here. To tell people, hey, yes, these are here too. Then this arrow to the hyperlinked word, we can make it just like that. And yeah, I think that makes sense. We can even grab this one and highlight all of these tabs on here. Awesome. So now you're grabbing attention. You're telling people to look at the tabs. That's what I'm trying to tell you here. So yeah, so we created two. We have this one highlighting the tabs and we have this one highlighting these buttons right here that will take you to the daily page and that's it it's a it's um simple enough remember there is a link in the description box to grab these two um templates that i just created so you can create your own and i will see you in the next one